Welcome back to our Bellwright playthrough, and today we're going to try to complete this quest to get another follower into our town, get them all set up, organize all that sort of stuff, and obviously get them working so that we can start to expand. Now, apparently there is up here in Herdeen a uh, follower for us, so we're going to head up that way right now and uh, see if we can find who that is and hire that beggar as our latest follower. One thing I want to do now that I'm up here is just speak to all different people and just say about, you know, if they want to work with me and all that sort of stuff um, and just see if they're all asking for the same thing. So this one here, for example, is saying I need 733 renown, so that's fine. But if I speak to this guy here, is he going to say the same? Let's just uh, go through this and see. No, he wants 588. So basically, you need higher renown to your higher villagers with better stats. And that means that if there is uh, the beggar here, if the advice that I saw online was correct, then we can hire that person, I guess, because they're going to have low stats, but they will at least be someone that can join our town. Now, I don't think this is a beggar as such, but Barbara Reinold right here is within our renown. You can see right there we have 252 and we need 188. So yeah, we can just say I'm glad to hear it. And uh, there we go. The quest is complete. Uh, they have indeed joined our town. Uh, we also have to earn friend trust level from the people in Herdeen. Now, I think that earning the friend trust is just about continuing to play through the game and completing quests and stuff like that to sort of help out the village. So this is something that will be just an ongoing thing for now though what i want to do is uh got my new villager here she's actually struggling to keep up but here she is barbara uh we want to get her back to the camp and get her set up with everything that she needs one interesting thing i noticed whilst running back to my base is that my renown has actually gone down now so when you hire a villager for the renown cost that it states there's actually taken away and subtracted from your overall renown it's not something that you just continually build on over time so i guess we always need to make those calculations as to whether it's worth spending that amount of renown for that particular villager or continuing to save it up until we get to such a point that we can hire a better villager with better stats now that we're back at the camp we can assign barbara to the current house because it can hold up to two people uh, so let's go to manage settlers right here and oh look at that she's automatically been assigned okay that's good so she's in there living with love uh hopefully they're happy living together now the next thing to do is to change her from a companion into a worker we want to get her working uh, her consumed foods over here are good right now that's something that we're going to focus on though is making sure that we get plenty of food for her uh, throughout the game and i'm going to get her straight on to wood cutting so let's just put this priority a bit lower than everything else and let's go over to our wood cutting station and set her a task over there okay here we are so let's go ahead and uh, manage the wood camp and this axe right here we'll need to make up a new one of those i would say for now let's go to wood and let's put this up to like i don't know let's just say 20 for now that she can do and uh, that can be good for collecting all of that wood you see the logs here we're kind of out of logs at the moment so yeah that's something that we're gonna have to like move this over time or something it seems kind of surprising though because there are like these trees nearby so uh, yeah it's kind of interesting that there's not enough uh, for us to get the logs now in order to keep providing food for our village what i'm going to do is let's go to disassemble and go to these traps over here because a lot of these need to be disassembled so let's take those down and i just realized actually if we just escape out of that a second we've got these animal remains here so we should get those first obviously and uh, then we can rebuild the traps uh, once we've disassembled them now just as i was getting started on that it says there's an axe missing so i guess they actually do need an axe even just to get the wood and not just for the logs so we're going to go ahead and make one of those up so right now we'll add the uh, simple axe back into the storage there for the wood chopping and uh, that should be all good looks like she's getting through all the wood that she can actually harvest in this area so we might actually uh, move this one pretty soon too but for now i want to get those traps sorted and then we've got that passive source of food over time now i just got a message to say the logging camp doesn't currently have uh, anything that it's being told to do so i think it is time to disassemble this and move it on elsewhere and it'll be good to do that because then we can actually get some logs out of it too rather than just the wood because wood is obviously a lot easier to get uh, so let's take this one down there we go and i think uh, do we get all the materials back from it if we escape out of that and um, we want to build a logging camp right now let's see here yep there it is uh so if we wanted to build that i wonder if we have everything on us looks like we probably don't uh let's go find a good area to put it in though and uh, get this being worked on obviously i'm trying to find some dense woodland this here looks like it could be pretty good i think this might be a decent enough spot to put it so let's go ahead and uh, select that one and put it down somewhere in here now it seems like we do have some of the build parts on us so maybe we get some things back when we're doing this and not others um but yeah we're just gonna have to obviously put a piece together all the rest of the stuff and uh, finish building this currently barbara is working on building the new uh, lumberjack cut so i think what we're gonna do is head back up into town and see if there's any other quests we can get in order to keep this friend trust level from growing up and also obviously we get other rewards when we are uh, completing these quests so it seems like a good thing to do anyway now whilst we're on the way up to the town let's just open up this uh section right here this is uh, our buildings and such you can open this by pressing n i'm just going on to the production section right here so these two here don't have any tasks so what i want to do 
is uh, let's put this copper ore up. We'll put it up to 15. We just will get all the copper out of the uh, deposit that's there while we can. And uh, then for the logging camp, let's see right here. Uh, we can get eight wood out of this. So just as well get all eight of that. Uh, but I think there's an issue with them not having an axe, which I may have to fix once I'm back there. Uh, we did have an axe for the other one, but I think when we moved it, maybe uh, that got lost somehow. So it might be in one of my storage boxes or something like that. I'll check that out when I get back. Down on the mini map there, you can see we've got a couple of little speech bubbles. I think these are quests that we can take. So uh, let's just head around to one of those and see what it is they want us to do. So we've got this person here with a question mark above their head. Let's go ahead and talk to Amelie. Okay, so it says a remedy for remembrance. That's the new quest. And we can press Z to track that quest. And there we go. We need to get Get two hemp, two sage, and two flax, and bring them back up here. So I mean, that is a very easy quest, and uh, seems like it was a good plan to start going through some of these. And we might actually be able to get several done in today's video, and obviously that will improve our uh, trust and stuff for the village, which is good, but also just help us with the progression in general. So with that quest complete, we managed to get ourselves a few things: uh, some coins, some extra trust, stuff like that, and also these right here, these knowledge books. And I took the ones on farming. So basically, what we can do now is you can right-click on them and use them. So right here. If we go to farming and then we can go ahead and uh, hit add right there and we're now reading the farming book and that will give us 500 xp for that now this does take time to do you can see that there is a little bar there is a tiny little white bar that very slowly is going to grow over time but when it does so then we'll get the extra experience for that of course now you can also give these books to your workers and i'll show you that in a minute but while i'm here i'm going to go and see if i can find another quest all right there's a guy right here there's actually two people let's speak to this guy and uh, see if he needs any help with anything okay so the next quest uh, another fairly simple one we need four simple cord two pieces of cooked meat and two logs so doing these quests really uh is something that we should be doing early game like this uh, if we just keep going through them we're going to get a ton of rewards and they're actually very simple to complete anyway now while we're back here we've got all of these traps ready as well so that's pretty good and uh, one of the reasons that we wanted to go ahead and set all of these up so we can have a lot of food obviously for our village so i'm going to go ahead and empty all of these traps while it's done back here get all this stuff into storage and uh, some of this is actually going to be useful because we can actually cook up some of the meat that we're getting right here and uh, use that as part of the quest so uh, we'll use that up we'll put the rest into storage and then go and complete that quest so now that we're back here we can go and speak to say Lubomir for example and go on to his attributes and at this point what we can do is actually give him a book so on farming right here we have this plus button and if we press that you see here now once again he has the same thing we have this little bar that's going to slowly fill up over time and give him the extra experience so that's how you give the books there to your villagers if you want them to gain the knowledge from it now in order to get the pieces of cooked meat what we're going to do is speak to Lubomir and change him into a companion and let's uh just do the two of us because Barbara doesn't have any weapons and stuff like that but we're going to go hunting after wolves so let's have a look right here i think if we head towards this mine site down here there was some wolves down there quite a lot so let's go that way and see if we can find them we're going to need to kill those in order to get their meat and bring it back okay i've got my bow ready because we have something red showing up on the map here so i think there's a wolf around here somewhere let's just see if we can find him and while i'm here i'm actually just going to eat a berry because we're actually uh, able to do so get our stamina up a little bit more but let's see he must be somewhere really close to us now okay yeah there he is over there so let's see if we can aim at him all right the wolf is here guys so here he comes um now we need to uh, give him a few hits we got a new club to try out let's see how that goes actually yeah that's pretty good it's a lot better than the other one uh still getting used to combat on this game find it a little bit difficult at times but uh, there we go so we're going to get ourselves a piece of raw meat which is good and uh, we're going to need to cook that up so we've only got the one we're going to need to kill at least one more wolf so we're just going to continue onwards uh, i'm finding it's just a lot easier to meet them actually than use the bow because switching weapons is a little bit slow so uh, they're getting some hits in on us whereas if we just melee them between the two of us we should get them and i'm already seeing another red dot right here so let's see where did you go uh must be just in these bushes somewhere oh he's actually through the other side here here he goes so uh, hey dude let's uh, let's have a little bit of a fight here shall we so yeah we'll uh, block him a little bit and give him some hits there we go and uh, the shield is just so so helpful for this whole thing that's for sure and uh one more hit maybe too Love me is just standing back. He's just letting me get on with it. He's like, nah, you've got this. <laughs> He's not the best companion. Uh, there we go, though. We take his remains. We're on the two pieces of meat. Now uh, we can tell him to go back to being a worker. And uh, basically, we just need to cook those up and we'll have those. And uh, obviously, getting the logs is super simple. Now, back at the camp, we can go ahead and add this meat over to the campfires. And these raw meat pieces will cook. They do take a little bit of time to cook, though. So we just have to wait for that to be done. But once it is, then we'll have everything we need to go and complete the quest. In the meantime, I'm just going to organize my inventory a little bit. So let's go ahead and put things away that we don't need, like our bow and arrows. They take up quite a lot of space. Uh, even this food here, we don't need to have that on us. Let's go and put that in here, trying to keep the uh, storage a little bit organized as before. And uh, then in the stockpile right here, let's see what we can take. So if I get rid of all these furs right here, 
We grab the two logs out. It looks like we are going to be able to take everything with us. So the only thing we have to do now is wait for this food to cook. And as soon as it is, we're ready to go and complete the quest. If we wanted to, though, if there was other things to do, we could actually go and just give them a couple of things at a time for these quests. You don't have to give it to them all in one go. But sometimes it's more efficient to do it that way rather than doing two trips. Whilst we're waiting, I've decided to make up an axe. And then we can go ahead and add that one into here. And uh, oh, they have two now. OK, interesting. So before they didn't have any, maybe she found the other one in storage or something. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. That was stand them in good stead because they'll have more to use over time just want to make sure that we're utilizing that building and uh, getting all the wood from it and to that end let's actually have a look right here on the logging camp so uh, wow there's only one log left okay well we just will get it and give them something to do um also we can look at the mining camp as that doesn't have anything copper ore there is at 16 so let's go ahead oh wait there's already stuff on here Okay, so I guess they're still working on that. Uh, maybe, yeah, they need another pickaxe. Okay, so that's something we have to work on in the long term. Um, trying to keep up with being efficient, but there's a lot to do all at one time. So sometimes uh, certain things miss out slightly. So our meat is now cooked and we can go ahead and grab each of those. There we go. And uh, now we have everything we need. So we're going to head back into town and complete that quest. And let's see what we get for it. Okay, here he is, the guy himself. We've completed the uh, quest. So let's give that to him and see what we get. So there you go. We got one small trap from that and 150 renown. So uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I'm going to have a little look around while I'm here, see if there's another quest uh, that we can take and just keep repeating this process. Seems to be a good way of uh, progressing. All right, Oscar, let's see. What quest do you have for us? So we've got this ancient shrines quest from Oscar. Not really sure what this is going to entail but there is a explanation mark there on the map that we have to just go to so uh, let's do that let's just go there and head there and see what it's uh, all about once we arrive well this is kind of cool there's cats in the game and we can actually go ahead and pet them <laughs> here we are just petting the cat yeah it's kind of funny that they have that it's a nice little feature something i didn't uh, realize until just now so i thought i'd mention it well these do look like ancient shrines to me so it looks like uh, obviously we've reached the place on the map let's have a little look around here and see what's going on so we got some loot there we got uh, 29 coins from that there's a pagan shrine that we can examine as well and uh, that will add some lore i suppose to uh, our uh, codex and things that we can get uh, looks like that's all we have to do though the quest bit there has been complete and now it's just a case of heading back into town and speaking to oscar once again unfortunately it seems like oscar is having a bit of a snooze at the moment so we're not able to go and speak to him uh, so I think what we have to do is simply wait until the morning. So we'll head back to our base and have a sleep ourselves. It will be winter tomorrow as well. So this is going to be our second winter. And I believe they do get more difficult as the game progresses. So we'll find that out, uh, well, tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, we'll come straight back up here then, speak to Oscar at that point and see what he has to say for himself. Looks like Oscar has uh, woken himself up now, so we can go and chat to him once again and see what it is he wants to say to us. And once again, we get to choose a book here that we're going to take. Uh, we're going to take the crafting book because crafting takes quite a long time and it's something that will probably automate quite a lot. So it makes sense if we actually uh, take that book when we have the opportunity to do so and use it for our own means. As you can see, we've almost finished reading the farming book right here. It's almost complete. Uh, so once it is, then we can start reading the next book. But I don't think we we're able to read more than one book at a time. If we try clicking anything here, it doesn't let us. So I think we have to finish the first one before we can read the next one. In the meantime, we're wandering around the town once again. And uh, again, we're just looking for another quest to do. Seems there is one in here somewhere. And uh, let's see what this one entails. Okay, so we're going to talk to Amelie and see what she says. Okay, this one says, put the stolen item in the secret stash. And if we open up our map right here, looks like that's where we've got to head to. So let's go on and uh, head down these roads here. And we'll zoom out a bit on the minimap so we can see this a bit better. And uh, see what awaits us when we get there. We have now finished reading our farming book. And then you can see our level has increased quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and add the uh, crafting book on now. That can be working in the background while we're just getting on with other things. And uh, increase our crafting skill. Right. Right, here we are, and here is the secret stash, so let's go ahead and uh, put that in there. And now we just have to go and talk to Amelie once again, I guess, tell her that we've done that and then hopefully get our reward. Okay, here's Amelie. We'll have a little chat with her and uh, let's see what she says. So we got another old coin and we also got another 150 renown. So, uh, uh, sorry, trust, I should say, not renown. So we're definitely starting to gain trust and uh, that's helping us out with the other quest that's sort of in the background. And I guess we just have to keep doing these until we get to a certain point that uh, we have enough trust. Talking of which, let's see what this person says. It's Andrea. Uh, can I help you with anything? Let's see what she says. And this one just requires that we bring her two simple cords and two pelts. So this is going to be a very easy one to complete. And returning all that stuff to Amelie, let's see uh, exactly what we get for doing that. Wow, so we've got 250 renown for that one, an old coin, 50 coins, and also gained 150 trust. That's pretty good. Now, it's also told us to go and talk to Padstow's Elder. This is the moving up in the world quest. 
So that is a different town. Uh, let's see, that is all the way down here for that one. But there is a quest objective if we go down there. So let's head down there now and uh, see what awaits us. Now, the trip to Padstow is a bit longer and we have to go through some unexplored territory. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just take some stuff with me to protect myself, like the bow and arrows, for example. I'm also going to load up on some better food while we're back here at the camp. It was only a small diversion to make, so we'll grab a couple of these things, put those away. And uh, wow, we out of the cooked food. That is a shame. Okay, but yeah, so just get ourselves a bit more prepared basically for this journey. This is the good thing about having these traps. We can actually just go around and get all the stuff out of them. And uh, then we're going to get ourselves the ability to cook up a load of food before we go. So uh, yeah, that's the basic plan so that we can go as prepared as possible. Make sure I have some of the cooked food. Unfortunately, it took me so long to get the pads though that I think the elder is asleep <laughs> right now. So uh, what we have to do is go all the way back up to our base and sleep and then come all the way back down again, which is quite frustrating. And uh, yeah, it'd be good maybe if that wasn't a thing in the game, or at least I think it would. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But uh, anyway, that's what we're going to have to do, so I'm going to go do that. Now that it's the next day, we're back, so we can go ahead and uh, talk to the Elder here, see what he's got to say. So basically, what they want us to do is go and attack a bandit camp, and uh, we're advised to take a couple of companions with us, so we'll need to get those guys all armed up and fed and stuff like that, and then obviously take them off to do that. And I think that could be a good focus for the next episode, so I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, but as always, just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.